Do you like moonwalking? Do you like Einstein? If you said yes to either of those two questions, then I do not recommend this book. Moonwalking with Einstein. It is not about either of these things. It is about a completely different, even better, third thing. The Memory Palace. What is the Memory Palace, you ask? It's an ancient technique used to memorize things. It's been around since the time of the ancient Greeks. The great orators like Cicero used it to memorize their speeches. The idea behind it is that you take a place you know very well, the easiest to use is your home, and you walk through that place in a very specific order that you can remember. Along the way, you stop and you put certain images in these locations. Later on, in your mind, you walk through this place like your home once again. You move through the rooms in the same order, and you see the images that you put there in your mind, and each image represents something. And if you can remember the images in order, you can remember what you were trying to remember. North America, South America, Europe, Asia, Africa. You know that jingle. It's the one we learned in kindergarten to remember the names of the continents. What if it stopped working for you? You could use a memory palace to remember all the continents. I'll show you how, using my car. The first image would be, of course, in the driver's seat. Something from North America. In this example, I could use me. Then naturally, the second image will be in the passenger seat. Now, for South America, I would probably imagine a bunch of fruit stacked up on a hat. And in the back seat, for Europe, I would imagine a Frenchman with a mustache and a beret and he's smoking a cigarette. In the middle back seat, for Asia, I would imagine a plate of Chinese food. Now, Africa would be the final rear seat to the right, and you can imagine whatever you want, but try to pick something a little less stereotypical. Now, uh, Australia, of course, would be located in the trunk, and uh, I'm going to... Oh, I can't show you what's in there, but uh, let's imagine it's a boomerang. Now, uh, on to the next... Oh, I did forget Antarctica. Imagine a penguin on the ground or something. This isn't that. This is memorizing cards. More specifically, this is memorizing an entire deck of playing cards. This is a test used worldwide in memory champion. This is done through something called the PAO system, which is combined with something I've already talked to about, the memory cards. PAO stands for Person, Action, Object. For every single card in this deck, I have created a person doing an action to a certain object. I have in my mind a permanent list of these 156 items. The way the system is used is that the first three cards from the deck are taken in order. Ace of Hearts, King of Hearts, Three of Diamonds. I will take the person from the first card, Ace of Hearts, which is me, knocking on wood. The person is me. I will take the action of the next. My friend Ben eating a cheeseburger. Me eating. The object of the last. Donald Trump firing his hairpiece. Me eating Donald Trump's toupee. Now that will become the first image in my memory palace. I will put me eating Donald Trump's hairpiece in my driveway, and then I will take the next three cards, I will create a similar image out of the person, action, and object, I will put that in the doorway of my home, and I will continue to do this for the next 17 images for all 52 cards. It's that easy. You've heard of the Odyssey. This epic poem was written by Homer, who was blind and Greek. The Odyssey is the most famous word of mouth story in the history of the world. Passed down from one bard to another, from one generation to the next, for hundreds of years before it was ever written. Evidence today shows that the memory palace was a method used by bards in the ancient times to pass this story from one to another. 
in the spirit of heaven, I will now use my own happy palace of my home to recite a bit of the Odyssey that I have prepared for you. So that you may know I am not cheating, I will use this blindfold. And this basket. Just kidding about the basket. Sing to me of the man who is the man of twists and turns, driven chiming again off course, once he had plundered the hallowed heights of Troy. Many cities of men he saw and learned their minds. Many pains he suffered, heartsick on the open sea, fighting to save his life and bring his comrades home. But he could not save them from disaster, hard as he strove. The recklessness of their own ways destroyed them all. The blind fools, they devoured the cattle of the sun, and the sun god wiped from sight the day of their return. Launch out on his story, muse, daughter of Zeus. Start from where you live, and sing for our time too. Now here, I hope you aren't intimidated by my prowess with the use of the memory palace. It's actually very approachable, and I hope you can use it in your future life. Some uses would be vocabulary for your plans, historical dates of battles and other significant events in the capitals of European countries. Las Palapas and Español famous Zetas somewhere. But the key thing to remember, if you're going to attempt to use the memory palace, is that more important than your memory is your creativity. When I recited to you the Odyssey, when I had to remember the word recklessness, I had to turn it into necklace race. I saw a mental image of two necklaces dropping from next to each other. Now that's the kind of thing you're going to have to think of. You can use puns, strange word combinations, that sort of thing. Thanks for watching, and I hope you remember what I've taught you. Okay.